hey guys welcome back to my channel i am super excited to be filming this video for you guys um this is my um keto grocery haul video um that i'm finally getting up for you guys as well as three um keto recipes um that i'm gonna cook for you guys you guys know that i love to cook and i love to share like my recipes with you because they're super easy and super like fun to eat um i do feel like being healthy like you shouldn't have to sacrifice flavor or um, just what you like to eat and just like those really good things so I just wanted to show you guys what I cooked um, and if these are some of the recipes that you wanted to use in some of your everyday life feel free and go ahead and do so and just let me know in the comments how you like these recipes but um, I as you guys know I am on a weight loss journey which I've lost some weight guys and I'm super excited um, to kind of do an update with you um, and that will be coming in like the coming month um, just like to really give you an update um, and probably do like a day in the life um, that kind of really showcase my workout routine with you guys um, because I do feel like I've been making a lot of progress so um if you uh, like these videos like this go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell right next to the subscribe button but i'm not going to be rambling i'm not going to talk too much i want to go ahead and get started All right, guys, I thought I would do a keto grocery haul for you guys and kind of show you what I got. Um, so first things first, I did go ahead and get um, some blueberries. Uh, I've never actually had this brand, but it was on sale um, and it was like a pretty big package. Um, and I also did get some strawberries as well. They were again on sale as well. Um, so that is the fruit I got. Um, I also did uh, go ahead and get some bananas. Um, I know this is technically not keto, but my daughter loves them. And I like to um, do like banana uh, chocolate chip muffins and stuff like that. So I did get that. Um, and I also did get um, some apples. These are Honeycrisp apples. Um, one of Patterson's favorites. So I got like four of those. Um, and I also did get some avocados. Um, because I was looking online and saw like this really cool like avocado recipe. So um, basically like a stuffed avocado. So I'm going to try that. So I just got four um, avocados. Um, they're not fully ripe yet. Uh, but I'm just going to wait for those to ripen out. Um, then I did get four zucchinis. Because um, Josh and I were talking about um, these really good zucchini fries from uh, Carabas. And was like, well, we want to kind of make it a little bit more healthy. Um, so I'm going to try to make some zucchini fries this week. Um, I also did get our favorite um, milk, um, the vanilla almond milk, as well as the unsweetened almond milk that I used to like to cook and bake and stuff like that with. Um, this is like Josh and Patterson's like favorite. Um, I messed up and got like a um, an unsweetened. It was like something, um, and Josh was like, "This is not the almond milk that I like." So he let me know. Um, and I also did get some bell peppers. Um, I didn't get onions because I already had some. Um, and I did also get this uh, carb balance um, whole wheat uh, tortillas. Um, I love to make like, um, like what's it called? Like tortilla pizza. Um, that's like one of like my favorite things to make with these. I'm um, gonna just use it in general. Um, but I wanted to kind of show you that this has 18 grams of carbs but 15 grams of dietary fiber so technically three net carbs and one whole tortilla um, according to the nutrition facts so yum um, I also did get uh, some hamburger patties um, this is the 80% uh, lean 20% fat um, so I did get these to kind of make a fast food keto situation um so i thought that would be like super cool um what inspired me to get these is because i um probably like two days in a row i got um what's it called 
it's like a burger place. Um, I forget the name of Oh, Five Guys. I got Five Guys, and I had them do like a, a basically a, a burger bowl um, with like bunless uh, burgers with like all my condiments and stuff like that. So I was like, I want to make it at home. Um, and I also did get some meatballs. I've been craving these meatballs for like a while. Um, so I decided to get these. These are the mild Italian. Um, and can't go wrong with chicken so i did get some chicken because we were out um i didn't buy a lot of meat in this grocery haul because i actually had quite a bit um in my freezer that i'm going to be using this week but that's just the meats that i bought um and i also did buy these crawfish tails i'm actually going to be using these today um to make a cauliflower um, mac and cheese and this is the cauliflower that i'll be using a whole head um, and I also did get mushrooms. Um, mushrooms are like one of my faves. Um, as well as some power greens, um, like with for a lettuce or something like that. Um, and I also did get um, some mustard greens as well. And this was like legit $149, and the power greens was $179 um, because they were on sale. So I know these are going to go out pretty quickly. So I'm more than likely going to cook these like probably today just to make sure that they're still good. Um, and I also did get some white cranberry peach um, as well as some white cranberry strawberry with some apple juice um, for Pat because she loves juice um, and we don't give her straight juice we do mix it with water but we just like to have juice on deck um, and I also did get the um, natural cage free brown eggs um, this is the 18 count brown eggs are the only eggs I eat um, and I also got the lemon um, extract or juice or whatever it's called. Um, but I do my um, apple cider vinegar uh, Kool-Aid in the mornings. Um, just like an appetite uh, suppressant. So needed some more because I was running out. Um, and I also did get some mozzarella cheese um as well as well as some more avocado oil because we're like literally running out so this is all i got from kroger um i did get a few things from whole foods um i do like their guac um and i did get the hot guac um from whole foods um i love guacamole and i also did get these uh keto cups and the flavor uh, hazelnut butter. Um, I heard these were really, really good. They're two net carbs, 10 grams of fat, no sugar. Um, and they do look like this. Um, so kind of like a healthy um, Reese's um, peanut butter cup. So I did get that, so I'm excited to try these. I have not actually tried this. Um, a coworker actually recommended it to me because um, she said it was like really, really good. And I was like, yeah, whenever I'm, I'm in Whole Foods, I'll try it. So that's what that is. Um, and I also did get some lentil chips in the flavor jalapeno as well as some kiwa chips and sea salt um, because I like to use these um, to eat my guacamole. Um, and when you look at the carbs, it does has uh, a nice amount of carbs in here. This is 16 grams of carbs for one, sorry, for about, sorry, 16 grams of carbs uh, for about 32 chips. So, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, I usually don't eat 32 chips. So, I mean, it's pretty much carb friendly for me. Um, and this one is 19 grams of carbs with one dietary fiber for 18 grams. So, overall, this is what I got for my grocery haul. I'm just going to go ahead and put it away. Alright guys, so as I was kind of playing back and editing my video, I realized my microphone that I attached to my camera did not work so it's a new microphone that I'm trying out and I'm still kind of getting used to it um, but I am taking this head of cauliflower that I did buy um, in my grocery haul for Kroger um, and I've already rinsed it off um, and I'm just cutting it into um, bits of pieces because I'll be making my crawfish mac and cheese um, it did turn out to be so good so I'm excited to share this recipe with you guys
So I'm going ahead and putting the head of cauliflower into a pot of boiling water that I did season with salt um, and I am going to let the cauliflower boil and cook um, for about 10 to 15 minutes um, before checking on it um, and cooking a little bit further to ensure that it's cooked all the way through. Now it's time to make the cheese sauce. Um, to do that, I am going to be using margarine, um, some unsweetened almond milk that I got from Kroger, um, which is the milk I love to cook with, um, as well as using the whipped cream cheese spread um, to add some denseness to the cheese sauce, as well as heavy whipping cream um, to make it nice and creamy. Um, and I'll be using a half a bag of this mild cheddar shredded cheese, um, which is one of my favorites to make this cheese sauce with. So I am going to go ahead and add the um, milk to a already hot um, pan um, and I'm adding about two and a half cups of milk. I do eyeball it because like I'm just like super used to making it at this point um, but that's how much milk I'm putting into it. Then after adding the milk, I am going to go ahead and add heavy whipping cream to it. And I do use about half a cup with this recipe because um, I don't like it too dense, but I do like the texture of the heavy whipping cream. Um, and I'll just go ahead and then whisk those two ingredients together. After whisking the milk and the heavy whipped cream together, I do put in two tablespoons of this whipped cream cheese. Um, and I do whisk this until it's nice and smooth and all the clumpiness is out of this mixture. Now you do have to add seasoning to this um, cheese mixture, so I will be adding Italian seasoning, which I do use about a tablespoon and a half um, because I love that flavor, as well as some crushed red pepper. Um, and I like it spicy. You can. This is definitely an optional step. You can use as much as you want or as little as you want, depending on your spice level. Um, and then just add in some pepper. So about a half a teaspoon um, of pepper is going into this sauce as well as a half a teaspoon of salt as well. Now it's time for my favorite part, which is adding in cheese. So I do it, I, I go ahead and add in like half of the bag um, to this um, at first because I will whisk this together. I don't want to add too much cheese because then it will just get super dense um, all at once. Um, and then once I have everything whisked together, I will go in and add another um, portion of the cheese um, and continue that process. Once the cheese is mixed together, I will go ahead and add the crawfish tails, which really sets this dish apart. Um, and I'm adding the crawfish tails, even though they are pre-cooked, just to really stir it in and kind of heat up with the cheese, just so it can kind of start the cooking process, but also those flavors can begin to marinate.
So I did go ahead and strain my cauliflower, which I will go ahead and add into um, this dish to mix around before adding it into a baking dish to bake in the oven at 350 degrees um, for about 15 minutes. And then I will take it out and top it with cheese and bake for another 10 minutes until the cheese is nice and bubbly. So as you guys can probably tell, we're doing some cooking in this video. So I'm going to go ahead um, and put three um, catfish fillets on a baking sheet um, that's I've already been strained. Um, and this is just a super simple recipe. I'm just going to go ahead and add this blackened seasoning because we're going to bake the fish. Um, and I personally like to use a lot of the blackened seasoning because I just really love it. But again, you can use as much as you want or as little as you want, just depending on your preference. Um, but I will put it on both sides um, and then I will drizzle with olive oil and this will go into the oven for about 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Now it's time to use these mustard greens before they go bad, um, which I will be putting into this boiling pot of water that I've already seasoned with salt um, to start the cooking process. Um, I love mustard greens, they're one of my favorite. Um, and even though this pot looks full, it will uh, cook down. Um, so even though it looks like a lot, it's really not that much. Now it's time to start on the third recipe of this video and this is my super quick, super easy chicken and asparagus one sheet pan dinner. Um, so this is for those who don't have a lot of time, um, which also includes this taco seasoning that I'm going to be putting on the chicken um, and the asparagus to season it, um, which it came out really, really great guys. So before I fully get started on that sheet pan dinner, I just want to show you guys really quickly what I'm putting into um, my mustard greens. I had to let them cook for a little bit um, it to wither down, um, but I did go ahead and put some um, pepper um, into the mustard greens. Um, I did put a lot because it's quite a bit of greens um, and I am adding a whole bunch of minced onions. I did not feel like chopping and dicing and slicing any onions. So I just used these dried onions that I do have and it still came out really, really great. Um, and after the onions, I did put in some crushed red pepper because I mean, I just love it. Um, and I really just mix this together and just like continue to let it cook. Um, I didn't do a whole lot to it because I wanted to keep it as healthy as possible. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing here. All right, so back to this sheet pan recipe. Um, I have already rinsed and cut the asparagus. Um, so that's already completed. And I'm just adding this taco seasoning to both sides of the chicken while spreading it out. Um, and then I will add the remainder packet of this taco seasoning to the asparagus um, and then toss with olive oil to coat um, the chicken and the asparagus as well. And this will go into the oven at 350 degrees for 25 minutes until everything is nice and juicy and amazing. I know. 